All right, so before we get started with this video, I want to address something real quick. YouTube has this new feature called Super Thanks, which is pretty self-explanatory. It's kind of like live stream super chats where the viewer essentially pays to have their comment highlighted, a part of which goes towards the creator. But instead of a live stream, it's for videos. I recently became eligible for this and enabled it without really giving it a second thought, and already I've received a couple of super thanks, which is just really awesome. Just the fact that there are people out there willing to not only spend their time to watch my videos, but also throw a little money towards the channel is just amazing to me. I really appreciate it and I didn't feel right just hearting these comments or writing my own comment thanking you guys for this. I feel like the most formal way to go about this is to just thank you and shout you out during a video like this. Which is what I'm gonna do from now on. I won't do it for every video but I'll probably do it like on a monthly basis where there will be at least one video that has an additional thank you segment dedicated to those who decided to pay for a super thanks for that given month. And please keep in mind, this is 100% optional. I don't expect anything from you guys, but if you're feeling generous and you want to throw a couple bucks my way, I'll be sure to thank you properly for it. So thank you so much to Quenflo, Dea, and Ymode for the super thanks. With all of that said, let's get into today's video. A little while back ago, I uploaded a video where I talked about what I thought at the time was the first ever dinosaur documentary known to the public, which was called 50 Million Years Ago. 50 Million Years Ago is an 8 minute documentary that briefly goes through the history of life before man and brings to life the prehistoric animals that are featured within using claymation and is one of the earliest known dinosaur documentaries. But it wasn't the first. It was brought to my attention by a commenter on that video that there were not just one, but two dinosaur documentaries documentaries that predated 50 million years ago by a few years. And both of these documentaries were called Monsters of the Past. That's right, both of these documentaries had the same name, but were two completely different productions with two completely different styles. And keep in mind that because these are the early 1900s films we're talking about here, these might not even be the first true dinosaur documentaries, since films during this period of time were poorly preserved. Who knows, maybe there was an earlier documentary out there yet to be found, but as for right now, working with what we do have, these two documentaries are the earliest ones we've seen so far, with the first one featuring an in 1922 and the other in 1923. The first one that was featured in 1922 technically has a different name from the other. Its full name is Monsters of the Past, The Story of the Great Dinosaurs. And it was a nearly 20 minute long feature that explained the fossil excavation and preparation process that was specifically practiced by the Carnegie Museum during that time. The film itself was made by Arthur Sterry Coggeshall, a paleontologist who had worked at the Carnegie Museum for 30 years. The main purpose of this film could have been to document a piece of history regarding the museum's last year of their quarry excavations, which would eventually become known as the Dinosaur National Monument. As a result of this, the main focus seems to be pointed more towards the methods used by the museums to excavate and prepare their fossils for display, rather than them trying to make a documentary solely based on the dinosaurs themselves. But this doesn't mean they were completely absent from the film. The dinosaurs that were featured in this film were the usual ones that are often represented in most media revolving around them. Things like Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, and Brontosaurus. However, the clips of these dinosaurs are actually taken from the 1918 science fiction silent film The Ghost of Slumber Mountain. Most of the spotlight is given to the paleontologists and workers that are given extensive screen time to show off the process in full, which is actually pretty interesting to watch since the methods they used back then are definitely different than what is used today, which captures a piece of history for paleontology. But aside from its historical value, it also serves as the earliest known dinosaur documentary to ever exist and may even be the first one. But there's not much other information on this film film, and the second Monsters of the Past has even less information. In 1923, an American five-minute short called Monsters of the Past was created by Path Review, which seems to be an independent production company that was trying to jump on the stop-motion dinosaur bandwagon by creating their own little documentary featuring their own original clay dinosaur models. It's set up similarly to how you'd see any other kind of silent movie, with cards establishing the upcoming scenes, followed by whatever it was describing. The 
dinosaurs featured in this film are Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, and what I believe is a Brontosaurus. The film also features Virginia May, a sculptor who's shown quote-unquote constructing a T-Rex clay model. But really, it's just a clip of her taking the clay model apart, but it's played in reverse to make it look like she's constructing it at a faster rate. But I think the most unique thing about this documentary is their dinosaurs. Now, as far as the Brontosaurus and the Triceratops go, they seem to be depicted as normal as their 20th century versions usually are. But when it comes to the Tyrannosaurus Rex, there is a part of the film where it not only kangaroo jumps towards its opponent, but also balances on its tail to kick up its legs as a defense mechanism. I mean, I guess back then this wasn't the most outrageous idea since the concept of bipedal dinosaurs having an upright posture, which results in their tails being so low to the ground, wasn't that uncommon. So that in turn probably led people to theorize that the tails were probably used similarly to that of kangaroos since they were that close to the ground. But I digress. The documentary continues with a pretty cool battle between the T-Rex and a Triceratops which ends up being more graphic than I would have expected in an early silent film such as this. The victor of the battle is a bloody Triceratops after impaling the T-Rex with its horns, which then ends the short. And those were the Monsters of the Past documentaries. And as far as I'm concerned, the two don't actually have any connections to each other besides the similar titles. Aside from that, everything else is pretty different. From what I can find with limited sources, one was created to document a piece of history that was significant to the Carnegie Museum, and the other was created to participate in the stop-motion dinosaur trend that was prominent during that point in time. One used a bunch of clips from an already made movie, the other created their own dinosaur models. So at the very least, the name was a coincidence, and at the very most, it was probably taken by the 1923 one to use for their own film. I don't really know. But what I can say is that these are really cool pieces of history and really show off how far scientists have come from their depictions of dinosaurs. What started from this would eventually lead to this, and I personally think that's an amazing thing. Thank you all so much for watching. I was meant to work on this a lot earlier, but I kind of forgot. But it all seemed to work out well enough, especially with Prehistoric Planet being released this week. And because I can already hear people asking, yes, I do plan on making a video about it, which should hopefully be coming out soon. I figured it would only be fitting to release a video on the most up-to-date dinosaur documentary next to this video on what could very well be the first ever dinosaur documentary. And speaking of that, if you have any more information regarding this topic, do let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and please, have a nice day.